Corporate health management programs are becoming more common in the workplace. However, many of the programs aren't reaching their full potential because they don't have the necessary data to measure their effectiveness. So how does a company determine if a wellness program is worth the investment? Here to answer that is Mark Head, Chief Solutions Officer at Viveri. Mark, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So historically, ROI has been a difficult metric to measure. Why is that? Well, Marlene. Hi, everyone. I'm Marlene Hilton with Prime Media Healthcare. And along with Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School, we welcome you to our 2007 Cycling Curriculum. A huge key to flexibility and streamlined workflow is our $5.5 million studio facility and its groundbreaking virtual set technology. This allows us to create a variety of worlds and environments, custom fit for your specific project needs for far less than you might imagine. The Food and Drug Administration recently removed nearly 200 unapproved hydrocodone containing cough syrups from the market. So is it safe to say that this has been a pretty big development in cough? I think you can. That's uh, pretty Obviously, fewer hydrocodone cough products available then, but it still comes down to hydrocodone versus codeine, correct? Hi, everyone. I'm Marlene Hilton. Welcome to Debt Free TV. As many of you already know, debt can be one of the most stressful things in your life. It can cost you sleep, it can strain your relationships, it can damage your self-esteem. Whether you've just realized you need help with your debt or you're already in the often confusing process of eliminating your debt, Debt Free TV is your lifeline. It's designed to teach